All right, I'm going to share something with you that's going to go real fast here. We're going to pull some information off of a web page, bring it into Excel via getting transformed so we can use it. Because I teach and do a lot of things on this YouTube channel, I need a lot of fake data. Names, colors, business names, ages, lots of things. So I have a file that I keep with a whole lot of fake data in it. So I can just grab it, put it into a pivot table, whatever I'm trying to show you, and then we can get going. Here I've got a tall column of first names and last names, some middle initials, and then the count. You see I've got 4,467 last names in this column. And notice in this orange table, I have some names and they're being randomly put together using Rand and Rand between. So notice here, Nikita Dumond. Nikita is using the index and Rand between to bring the name in. And if I recalculate, they all change. So I've got a lot of names that I can generate, but I want more. And because I'm getting ready to go to Excel weekend number four down in Sao Paulo in January, let's get some Brazilian names, all right? I've got a web page that has a hundred Brazilian names, hundred girls, hundred boys. But notice something about these names, like Luis. It's all caps. Arthur, a small A out front. Laura has a small L in front. Okay, so we got to bring this in and it's got to be cleaned up a bit before we can add it to the master list. Right, this is how we're going to do it. Grab the URL and go back to Excel. I'm going to open a brand new workbook. Data. From web. Paste in the URL. OK. And here we go. We don't have a preview here, so let's select this document. Got a table. Table zero. This looks like the table that we want to bring in. It's table one. Nope, nothing we want. Table two. No. Table three. OK, we need table zero. And we're going to edit. The columns we need here, column four, it says girls' names. And then column nine is boys' names. Hold down the control key. Select column nine. Right click. Remove other columns. Now we've got what we want. I'm going to highlight both columns. Right click. Unpivot. Now they're all stacked up. Get rid of this attribute. Right click, remove. Okay. Okay. We've got to filter out anything that says girls, boys, or first names. Okay. Boys, first names, girls. Okay. Now, remember the stuff that we had to clean up, like Leonardo starting with a small L. We got to capitalize that. So we're going to do that by adding a column column from example let's go straight down to row 10 where leonardo is so that we can give getting transform an example leonardo okay press enter cool it's got a capital f for philippe and then luis is no longer capitalized all right so we are good so let's click OK here and close and load. We just need this column of data. Grab all of that, copy, bring it over here, all the way down, paste it, boom. Now we've got 200 more names available to us. So we can make some crazy amount of fake data if we needed to. Now, I suggest you keep your own file of random data. It can help you out. If you need a whole lot of data, you'll have it accessible to you. But there's another reason. Look, 
some websites will provide fake data for you but they gotta be monitored you don't want to get a bunch of data in and then show a bunch of people an example that has a name in it like I'm a joker or a street name like Stinky Shoe Way. I've seen that. And that's why I keep my own fake data. And you should as well. Right? See you in the next video.